Hello everyone, and my camera is not readable for some reason. I have to restart the application. So I will be just, you know, faceless for this uh, first couple of minutes. Uh, welcome, uh, Dominic de Coman. Thank you so much for joining us today uh, as a presenter. We had already uh, an insight in, in uh, what Dropsolid does yesterday, uh, the company you uh, founded and then you're a CTO of, uh, as well. Um, you guys presented some amazing stuff in the first day of the Modic. Uh, Marikon. Um, when it comes to Marik, you can see Dropsolid everywhere. Thank you so much for supporting us with development, hosting, money, <laughs> and uh, and we understand that you you have a commitment to open source uh, because you're also working for Drupal for 15 years. So I think there is no better person present this today than you, as you, uh, because we're going to talk about uh, Drupal and Mautic and how they can play better together. Um, today. So I just hand over the voice to you and let's dig in. All right. Thank you, Joey, for the introduction and uh, the kind words. Let me share my presentation. All right. <clears throat> So welcome everyone. This is a, so this session is about bringing Mautic and Drupal closer together because I believe there's a, there is a huge opportunity there. Um, it's gonna be a more business oriented uh, overview. Um, so, but there will also be opportunities to uh, learn how to how to contribute to this. Now, first, uh, Joey already introduced uh, me. I'm a founder and a CTO of Drop Solid. Uh, background in uh, in engineering, been part of the Drupal community for quite some time, um, and uh, I'm also very interested in uh, in the whole business side, uh, the strategy side behind uh, open source ecosystems. So first. Maybe it's uh, super obvious for everyone, but what is Drupal? Uh, um, so basically Drupal is one of the largest open source projects in the world. Uh, it's definitely the largest open source uh, enterprise content management project in the world. Um, as I say on our website, still the best digital experience platform but to be really a digital experience platform, uh, I think there is still something missing, but I will uh, come back to that uh, later. Um, it's mostly an ecosystem of developers. Yeah. Uh, there's also side builders, um, but there's less marketeers than uh, you would find in, uh, in the Mautic community. There's less sales marketing oriented persons in the Drupal community. Um, now, how, how is, uh, how is this community? How, how does it compare? Uh, there's more than uh, a million developers in the ecosystem, uh, users, uh, there's 8,500 active contributors. Uh, it's still growing with around 2000 users, users a month. You saw that the, the big growth stage of Drupal is, uh, is already almost 10 years uh, in the past when, uh, when popularity really exploded for Drupal. But even since then, a consistent growth of 2000 users a month has been seen. Uh, it has 1 million installs, uh, although these installs are declining. You can find all the metrics in at uh, Drupal.org. <clears throat> um, now, if you would just compare a little bit uh, with Matic, just just to put things in perspective, as not to say that uh, the one is better or uh, or the other, is just to to see that the, the Matic community also growing, um, but is still smaller than the Drupal community. It's also younger. Drupal community is uh, plus 20 years. Uh, Mautic is plus, plus five, six uh, years. Um, the number of installs is also a bit lower, but the number of installs of Mautic is actually growing, while the number of installs of Drupal is actually declining. But you think, okay, is uh, the popularity of Drupal uh, declining? Well, I think it's 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 because of the market positioning of Drupal. 
So Drupal has been positioning itself more and more as an enterprise content management system, while in the past it used to compete also in the lower end of the market with uh, other uh, open source projects like uh, Joomla or, uh, or WordPress. And since these days are gone, uh, you see the, the total numbers of Drupal uh, declining. But if you look at the number of sites, the big sites that are being built uh, on Drupal and the budgets that are being spent on Drupal, they are increasing. Uh, who is involved in the Drupal community? So there's a, a quite a big ecosystem of companies behind it. It's like 50 companies who are really sponsoring Drupal. And then there's like uh, 400 companies in total who are uh, financially uh, supporting, supporting Drupal. Uh, if you look at the Matic community, the commercial ecosystem around Matic is still uh, very young. There is a couple of companies who are really investing in uh, into Matic, um, but also there, I think there is still a, a lot of potential for the ecosystem, the commercial ecosystem around Matic to uh, to grow. And I think we can also learn from the Drupal community how how that uh, happened. Now, if you look at just how is the community run, you see uh, the, the the Drupal community has a Drupal association. It's a full, uh, full uh, non-profit organization uh, with a CEO, with a CFO, with uh, sales uh, commercial uh, persons, with a full uh, engineering staff. Uh, and all those people are, uh, are on the payroll. So uh, it's, yeah, it's a sizable organization um it's not uh it's not it's not a small enterprise they they organize uh, big uh, big events every year uh, they have they have already a, a good structure if you look at the matic community uh we see that most of the community here of the leadership team is uh, is run by volunteers so that means uh, they're uh, they're not uh, they're not getting getting paid um now, uh, quickly, if you see what has Drupal to offer, uh, uh, so basically Drupal as an enterprise content management system platform, even uh, it has uh, it has the ability to, to to deliver a lot of functionality out of the box. Uh, it has more than fifty thousand modules in its ecosystem. Uh, it has integrations with almost anything you can uh, you can imagine uh, it's really strong in the multi 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 market uh, which which means like uh, sites where you have multi multi language multi uh, multi country multi multi currency multi multi brand uh, multi sites drupal is really good uh, good at this this uh, and also it's 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 uh, it's pretty easy to run it in the cloud there's several companies uh, that that can help you with this um it brings together a lot of uh, a lot of features um it's very complete cms um there's possibility for like building pages pretty easily these days i know drupal has had uh, um the, the 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 comments that it that it didn't have the the ux because it's so much focused on the developer experience um this is improving rapidly there's a lot of focus at at the moment uh, especially at the last drupal con which was a couple of weeks ago um multiple projects were announced to uh, to improve the user experience of drupal now that the, the work uh, under the waterline has uh, has been done um and so yeah like for example uh, drag and drop page builders uh, things things that you see in the, the wordpress ecosystem already being there uh, a lot of uh, builders in the proprietary cmss uh, now drupal also is uh, really investing in uh, in these capabilities so um yeah good news um 
there is a, a lot of uh, a lot of these things you can you have to click together but there are also uh, installers like for example drop solid contributed to the the drupal community uh, an installer where all these things are already packaged into it it's it's all also all open source so uh, you can just use it uh, out of the box um the multi-site uh, as I said, uh, is one of the strongest points, I think, uh, for Drupal. And then it's all also API first. So to, to build um, head, a headless CMS with Drupal, um, a lot is being invested in that space as well uh, to make it easier to build uh, headless sites with, with Drupal. So as you can see, it's, 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 it's a modern CMS. But I think it still misses uh, an important piece of the puzzle. And uh, that's why Matic and Drupal are, uh, are uh, a match made in, uh, in heaven, I think, if you look. Uh, so there's already what is already there. There is already the, the possibility to embed Matic forms in, uh, into the Drupal website. Uh, so if you look at uh, the modules that are being contributed, uh, you have the Matic integration. It's already there. Uh, the Matic paragraph, uh, it's, it's also something DropSolid uh, contributed uh, to use Matic in the Drupal paragraph system. And there's other, other uh, Matic modules, uh, Matic commerce, Matic forms, Matic cookies. Uh, so you can see there's, there's already been... Uh, a reasonable effort to to integrate Matic uh, with Drupal. Uh, I know yesterday my colleagues also presented um, a presentation um, where where they focused on the Matic plugins that have been created to uh, to work with uh, with Drupal to get the content out of Drupal and build emails. So there's also uh, the the vice versa as well. Uh, um, Drupal calls itself already a DXP, but I think to really call yourself a DXP, there is a piece of the puzzle missing. And that piece of the puzzle is, uh, is Matic. But first, let me quickly explain what a DXP is. A DXP is not uh, just a new branding for, uh, for selling websites. It's not a uh, new wine in, uh, in old bags and uh, to give it uh, a new name. It's much more than this. Um, for me, the DXP is not only content, but it's content plus data to serve the user, to really put the user central. Um, and to put the user central, you need that data. You need the data to build that customer experience. You need to get that data from the backend systems that are already there. Uh, in uh, ERP, CRM, PIM systems, uh, customer data systems, get the, get the data from the user and then uh, use it with the content and use it through your channels. Because if you do it like this, then you gain a lot of analytics. These analytics drive new actions and drive user engagement. So data plus content is the DXP. And of course, the more reusable all these components uh, are to interact with the data, the better. And if you look at it, like Drupal already has the form builder, the page builder, the site builder, uh, most of these things, but there's like an, a couple of important elements that Drupal is missing. And that's the campaign builder, the personalization, lead nurturing, and these are exactly the elements that Matic brings to the table. So you could make like a really simple diagram of this. Like if you have your Drupal, your Drupal system, um, being able to build customer data driven experiences, uh, you need uh, at least a system that captures the customer data and that can uh, communicate with this and in its most minimal form that's Drupal and Matic uh, of course uh, it, uh, it Drupal can integrate with many 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 other systems that also uh, bring these uh, these capabilities but the 
difference with Matic is that it's also a full open source project. Um, building a DXP like this yeah, makes your system also composable. Yeah. You can swap out the CMS, you can swap out the automation tooling, you can swap out the customer data management. It's it's composable. And not only are Drupal and Matic composable in the DXP, they're also internally built composable. Matic is built with a plugin system. Drupal has been built with a, with a mark uh, with um, a module system. So also there, those two systems are, are very composable. Now, to become a DXP, we need to kind of use Matic as a, a CDP, as a customer data platform. Basically, when Matic is installed on the website, it's capturing all the behavior, all your clicks, all your page views, all your downloads. So you're getting a lot of data about your user, uh, the behavior of your user in your website, even if the user is uh, is anonymous. And how would that work? Uh, based on this, you can al already personalize uh, your website just by combining Drupal and Matic. So I think just bringing these together already gives you a very powerful combination. Uh, you can already personalize uh, your website based on this uh, this setup uh, also in uh, in matic you can you can then use these uh, these elements together uh, you can integrate it with uh, with the google data studio report on this which segments are performing better which are are are, uh, are not both on the website and in uh, in the emails so doing it setting it up like this already creates uh the most minimal version of uh, of the dxp um a couple of cases uh, where where we did this uh for example integration drupal tourism flanders uh site for uh, the department of tourism government agency that wanted to do distributed marketing from multiple brands, multiple countries. Of course, Drupal, perfect tool for this. And also Matic. It's basically a multi-Matic installation uh, where uh, the, um, the different brands and different countries have their own Matic to, uh, to work with, to send their campaigns to, uh, to all different uh, target audiences that they are responsible for uh, for targeting. So here they Drupal and Matic perfectly work together. Uh, another one we have here also an integration with uh, Matic and Drupal, um, where Matic is pulling the content from Drupal. I think it's this one that uh, my colleague showed uh, yesterday. So uh, a lot of um, personalized emails sent out by Matic driven with the content that is in Drupal. Um, and here also an, uh, another another example of uh, website personalization based on um, the data that has been captured. Now, what is the, the return on investment of something like this? Uh, so the return, that's also very important to explain to, uh, to customers uh, the, what is the business value of a digital experience because they can think like, okay, why don't we just do a website? Isn't that good, uh, good enough? Uh, uh, or can we just uh, send emails? Why, why does it need to be a digital experience? Well, the, the business value, because you combine content with data, uh, goes a lot further if you can uh, combine also the behavior on your website and also use this in your emails in your marketing campaigns um, this goes a lot further um, and what we try to do is we try to uh, map this out for all the different 
all the different departments in an organization like more most organizations have uh, have marketing communication it hr customer success operations if you look at the dxp almost on every front in an organization the dxp can contribute if you look at uh, operations and IT, you look at operational efficiency, people have to do less uh, less uh, manual tasks, marketing, communication, that's obvious, generating leads, generating members, um, even HR, employer branding, etc. So calculating this, how the the marriage between uh, Matic and uh, and you know me is done is 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 pretty easy and and the way we try to do is is that if you have on, on a normal normal cms not dxp you will you will be kept in what your potential is where you can grow um but if you really invest in the combination of of uh of of matic and drupal there will be less limits on your growth so now that we understand Drupal, Matic, the business value that it brings, how can we bring the communities together? Uh, how, how can we uh, bring Drupal and Matic closer together? So I did this very same presentation on um, Drupal Jam a couple of weeks ago, and I will also do, uh, well, it was more oriented where uh, Matic, I did more a promotion of Matic in the Drupal community. Um, was more focused on it, but a similar presentation I did in the Drupal community. I will also be doing it on uh, on DrupalCon uh, because I see huge benefits here. Uh, um, but to be exactly precise, uh, on uh, on 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 the on the Drupal Jam, I, I promoted people coming over to the Matic community and contribute here at Maticon and even offer them uh, like a, a sponsor. We, as a sponsor, we have discount codes. We offer them to this. Uh, I don't have this for the Drupal community, uh, unfortunately, but there will be a code sprint at DrupalCon Lille. And uh, Matthias, who also works here at DropSolid, uh, uh, who is the product uh, lead he will be uh, he will be there also to to lead this and um we'll we'll try to to bring uh, drupal developers and uh, matic developers together to see where where are the benefits uh where do we need to focus on and then there's also a project on drupal.org it's called project txp it's where, where DropSolid is bringing together all the work that we are doing around Drupal and Matic and also you know me. that's yet another community that we're involved in uh, for the customer data platform. We're trying to bring this all together in one project where you can install everything together. So this is basically a place, uh, the more people that use this installation profile the more people that will also come into contact with the matic community and with what matic is because i i feel in the drupal community because there's so many developers they don't really know about marketing tools and 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 they're also not it's not like top of mind for a developer to follow up on okay what is happening in uh, in marketing land um so we really have to go there, I think, and, and explain it to them. And we, at least here at TropSolid, we, we are starting to build teams where the same developers, um, where, this, where the same developers are, are working on both Matic and Drupal. Uh, so that's the next thing, selling Drupal and Matic together in an agency. Now it's drop solid. We we sell a digital experience uh, from all the way from design and, 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 and architecture and strategy to implementation, uh, the platform and then the compliance. Um, basically, these developers, they're also Symfony developers. They can they can both work on Drupal and on Matic. And I see the excitement, for example, with uh, with Matthias and, and other developers here, is that really they they can they can bring what they've learned in Drupal uh, and bring it to Matic, and also um, yeah, bring not only more features but bring also more stability to the project, make it more 
professionally developed um, make it evolve faster uh, if if we could harness the engagement of all the Drupal developers and get them excited around Matic um, they're all really experienced guys the community has been going for 20 years so they can they can like bring a lot of acceleration to uh, to the Matic project and on the other hand as marketeers who form a huge part of the the Mati community? They can they can really explain to to developers how a marketing open source project is making an impact uh, in the world. Like communicating, like a lot of communication is still uh, going uh, through email. Um, I think it's important. So if you wanna. Uh, know more about this yeah you can start using drupal in your own agency um, you can you can use it to communicate with the customers build integrated with matic um, build your stack with uh, with drupal and matic uh, and and this will this will uh, increase the knowledge of both platforms in uh, in your company so as see you almost uh, out of time so the conclusion to bring communities together so i think drupal can really bring some development power to the matic community but matic also brings the missing piece to the drupal community like to form the the, the dxp and it brings marketers and developers together uh, and 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 out of the box the two together they can compete so they can beat so many proprietary stacks um like our customers are amazed what we can deliver with with just matic and 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 drupal now to make it uh, really tangible how uh, DrupalCon, DrupalCon Lil is a big moment, I think, where we can collaborate, where we can go, we can sell it together, we can build it together, and we can market it together. So thank you uh, very much. If there are any questions, I will be happy to, uh, to take it. So I have here from uh, Rahu Shinde. Um, what are the challenges using Matic as a CDP? Yeah, I think the biggest challenge is when you want to connect more data sources to it. Like, like if you really want to go full blow in CDP and connect many, many sources, you need another system that's true that's that's why we're also investing in uh, in something uh, like apache unomi um, which makes this possible which allows you to scale in in a very simple form just using website behavior as a data source uh, you can use matic you can see matic as a as a source of customer data to to build a basic uh, personalization on the website but the biggest challenge is more data sources for sure yeah i hope that answers the question and then we have a um, question from root what do you think are the most impactful things that matic can do to build connections with open source projects drupal and other projects yeah i think they still don't know us they don't know who matic is what they can do with it uh, what it is uh, what is the value it bring, brings what is the return on investment it, it brings so just going to those conferences and um, and give sessions on what matic actually is like i see this here in the company as well like most of of the people we have here are drupal developers it took like multiple years to really explain what Matic was, give demos, give uh, lunch and learn sessions, uh, show people what it can do, uh, share customer cases, really make it tangible that it's not just a, a marketing toy, uh, but that, that it actually is generating a lot of value for the customers that is uh, that, that buy into it. So 
community marketing, marketing of Matic and other communities, I would say um, that that would be very impactful, I think. Oh, thank you. And uh, I still didn't manage to turn back my camera on, but there, there are a couple of questions I also would like to ask. So you said that Maltic and Drupal both symphony, right? So mm -hmm. what do you think, how fast a Drupal programmer can pick up? In other words, if there are agencies who would like to get some Maltic job done, uh, does it make sense to uh, advertise this as Drupal job or or how fast can a Drupal? So the question is, how fast someone who knows Symphony and experience in Drupal can start developing on on Matic? If we look here in the company, the the biggest hurdle was to just get started with it. Like, mo the, the 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 biggest barrier is like, okay, I don't know the framework. I need I need to I need to get some time to. Make myself familiar with uh, with the basic concepts, with uh, with the APIs, with with everything. So, but if you're an experienced Drupal developer, like who's who can do like complex object oriented programming and knows its way around Symfony, I would say it will take you a couple of weeks to to dive into it and. Um, and start working with it. It's not uh, it's not rocket science either. Eh? It's just getting familiar. It's with with the with the concepts, with the the big subsystems uh, in there. Um, but yeah, for a developer to allow a new code base into their uh, consciousness, let's say, um, <laughs> you need to convince them a little bit that it's going to be world world worthwhile to do that you know that it it it, it does take uh, it does take a little bit of brain space to understand it also i think the biggest hurdle is to to explain how is going to be an added value to their careers like if they understand both drupal and matic and even other technologies that is going to make them uh, a more valuable developer that also if they if they um if they bring um also their cv if they can show both contributions on matic and drupal i think it will make them more a dxp developer than than just a cms developer I see. That's that sounds so much better than I had a conversation with Fedi. He told me, well, after two years, he started to understand what's going on when he first started in Mautic. I guess that was before he even uh, took a deep dive into Symphony. Um, the other question we have here, and I would like to extend this one. So is Drupal a better choice than WordPress for a DXP? And if you could also uh, a little bit elaborate, if you if we are an let's say there is an agency, and would like to start selling Drupal, do they need to have a developer for sure for Drupal? Because with WordPress you can pretty much do stuff without uh, without developer as well. But is this the same case uh, in in Drupal as well? Yes, you need a Drupal developer. Mm -hmm. You can build a lot of stuff side building, yeah. But once it gets to, once it gets to like more complex uh, implementations, and and the customers that that choose Drupal are mostly companies that are in the multi 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 context that that I explain in my uh, in my presentation. Um, it can get really complex, and if you don't know what you are doing in uh, in Drupal, and you don't know all the the concepts uh, in Symfony, and I think you can get stuck like really, really fast. It's also these projects are not projects where you work alone on a website. There's like most average project uh, on Drupal is is a couple of. Yeah, is is at least a hundred k average is like a couple of hundred k. That that's like the the the, the actual size of of, uh, of of the Drupal 
projects these uh, these days. There are smaller projects that are being built uh, on Drupal, um, but um, if 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 it's pure site building and no programming, then then I think yeah, WordPress would would be a good good choice. I think because a super a lot of things are just out of the box, but once you need to get into the into the framework, then then Drupal, yeah, Drupal it, it comes with with so much more abstraction in all its functionalities um, already out of the box, and also for the developer, the developer experience is also on that level. These things you don't find in a in in a WordPress environment, so I wouldn't say to the question is drupal a better choice than 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 a, than the wordpress on a, for a dxp it depends uh, on how complex uh, your dxp is going to be like a dxp is just a, a container uh, like like it, it it's 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 just explaining content plus data this is a DXP, but it can also be on a smaller scale as well. I hope that makes sense. Totally, totally. Thank you. Um, there is one more question here from Raul. Um, do you see point making strategies around using Modic as CDP? You kind of covered that before. Do you have any comment on this one? I think if you already know that you're going to have a lot of data sources, then I would go for a real CDP. But if you're just looking at uh, website behavior to use uh, as customer data, then why not use Matic like uh, as a, a really light version? Mm -hmm. It could um, be like like how we sell it to our customers is is like okay, this is your first step towards using more data. Let's start with using the behavior data and maybe even connect the CRM system with uh, with Matic and Drupal and then you have like like a small like a light version it's not really a CDP because you're not integrating many data sources uh, but let's do that first and see how that works for you how that gives you some return on investment and if that works then we can go to a real CDP if you have uh, many data sources that we need to uh, connect Mm -hmm. uh, how how difficult is training in Drupal in comparison to training in Modic? When you go to the client and say, okay, we are ready to ship. This is what you do. This is the Drupal part. This is the Modic part, which takes more time. Like for the user? Yes. Well, it depends on, 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 uh, on, on what are all the functionalities, but I wouldn't say uh, on a user perspective that there is a lot of difference in learning how to use uh, Matic. Most of the time, Matic is being used by marketers mm -hmm. and Drupal is more used by site builders, like more your webmaster kind of type of people. But sometimes they're also the ones who are uh, doing the, the Matic. So that is, a, is, a, is, a, is the same person. Um, De depends a bit on on, on who's there, um, but I wouldn't say there's that much difference on how to use these uh, functionalities as as a user. Cool, thank you. Uh, great. So if there are no more questions, then uh, I think I I thank Dominic one more time for everything, all the involvement and, and, and also for this presentation. And I really hope that Maltic can be included more into the, into the Drupal family. And uh, I would say that, yeah, we're just going to have to show up more and more in different uh, development events. I'll be in Vienna and uh, I wish the best of luck to you guys in, in, in Lille. And yeah, the dear viewers, uh, Thank you for understanding about the camera hiccup. Uh, I'll try to fix it for the next uh, next session in about 15 minutes. See you all there. Thanks a lot. Again. All right. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.